day in and day out. So we got to cease from sin, man. So that's what it's talking about in Ephesians. It says, no, uh, uh, man, you really can start at verse three. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 3 But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness Let it not be once named among you as becoming saints So if you are a saint You're supposed to turn from these wicked things Turn from the from this wicked these wicked ways Right? We're supposed to have understanding concerning These law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God That was meant to make us a wise and understanding people So it says what? Neither filthiness nor foolish talking Nor jesting which are not convenient but rather giving of thanks that's right and then it says what and let's just jump down to verse six let no man deceive you with vain words for because of this of these things for because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience and that's exactly what's happening in these last days man we are being destroyed and we are being buffeted for our wrongdoings but it's better that we be buffeted for doing righteousness, walking in righteousness, doing things that are good. Okay? Because you're suffering just like Christ has suffered, man. So then let's go on. It says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things come cometh the wrath of Yahweh. It says, Upon the children of disobedience. Be not be it says, Be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the world. Walk as children of light. It's like you. So it says. Let no man deceive, this is verse 6, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye there partakers with them. Don't be like them. Don't be like the world. Come out of the world. You know, the spirit of error is in the people that are in the world, man. Okay? So it says what? Um, for ye were sometimes in darkness, but now are ye light in the, in, in the Lord. Walk, it says walk as children of light For the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness The good uh, righteousness, the truth And what is the truth? The law is the truth As it says in Psalms chapter 119 and verse 142 Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness And thy law is the truth The law is going to endure forever man Doing what's right and what's good among your people That's what's going to keep us in the land That's what's going to uh, uh, get us into the land Right? That's what's going to give us the right to the tree of life. Right? So then it says what? Um, for, in verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But reprove. But it says but rather reprove them. That's right. So that's the same thing that Christ did, man. He spoke against the wicked, evil deeds of the world, saying that man can lay with man, women can lay with women. We reprove those things, man. We speak ill of those things, and that's why the world hates us. We tell, uh, we tell the man to be in charge in your, in your household. That's the way that the Lord made it, man. And, and then we are hated for those things, okay? We are hated for the order that it is established by the Most High God. We are hated for the truth. For the truth's sake, we are hated day in and day out. So it says what? Rather reprove those things. It says have no fellowship, have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret, man. So yeah, man. And then let's go ahead and get it in Peter chapter uh 1 Peter chapter 4. It says that no longer it says for as let's start at verse 1 again. It says for uh for as much then as Yahweh has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. It says that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh. So you're not supposed to live the rest of your time in the flesh. You've been suffering in your flesh so that you can die from that sin, man. It says to lust. It says to lust. So like it says that he no longer should live the rest of his life 
of his time in the flesh mm -hmm. to live, I mean, to lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. It says, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought, wrought the will of the Gentiles. So, yeah, it will suffice for us to carry on in the ways of Babylon to think that everybody can be saved. And you know what? We can, man, you know, everything that was inordinate. Everything that was against the scripture, everything that was against truth, man, everything that was against the law, it would suffice us to carry on in these ways. But now what? It says, uh, for the time past of our life, uh, time past of our life, for, it says, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have walked the will of the Gentiles, meaning work the will of the Gentiles, when we walk in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Oh, lasciviousness is like sexual uh, lust, right? Uh, and that's what's known among our people. That's where you got uh, babies born out of wedlock. You got, uh, or not wedlock, but just babies born and without fathers and mothers to take care of them. Our, our children are being taken and given to another, are taken, and we have no might in our hands through CPS and all these other uh, manner of, of, of wicked things that fall upon us I'm um, all manner of curses that come upon us you know what I mean we get uh, 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 killed in the streets day in and day out uh, even on our own streets by our own people we get locked up we get shot by cops this that, and the third a lot of that of this comes because of uh, lasciviousness being out there for you know you're going out there to uh, gain things to get the upper success trying to get the woman and that usually that mostly falls on men right and unto the men is the word really given, man. We're we're the we're the progenitor of our race, so that's why we are getting. It's hard upon us, man. It's coming down harder on us, right? So it says, walking in lasciviousness, right? We do these things, think we're gonna get women, think we're gonna get money, so that we can get women. You know, we have messed up mindsets, man, and we do it behind lasciviousness, lust. Uh, excess of wine okay you got other doctrines on your mind and stuff like that you, uh, uh, your 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 strength is in the things that you can gain in this world okay so you got excess of wine in your mindset man you got idols in your heart okay so therefore you are doing things that are not honest you're doing things that are, are vanity that are full of vanity you're doing things that lead to uh, 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 you know getting your mindset off the things getting your mind and your focus off the things of the scriptures so then it says what? Uh, it says when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, man. See there? Idols in your heart. You, you're conscious of the idol. Believing that the so-called white man is, 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 is Jesus and, and God and, you know, everybody can be saved. All these types of things. Believing in other... other uh, uh, gods uh buddha and and shiva and and uh, uh uh baal all these other things that we are believing in you know uh in time past this suffice us to carry on like this but now this is not what we're supposed to be it says revelings and banquetings that's going to the club going to uh parties and and uh 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 these celebrations of other gods like birthdays and uh uh christmas and all these other holidays right that's the banquetings and, and revelings right there and it says in verse 4 wherein wherein you think uh, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the excess of riot, speaking evil of you. So yeah, when they speak evil of us, when we bring up all these topics, when we get onto these uh, 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 these 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 wicked deeds that are done in Babylon, and uh, uh, when we get on these wicked deeds that are uh, done in Babylon and reprove these things, and yet we are hated for the, for that. They think it's strange that we're not running in the same understanding as them. Well, why don't you do? Christmas why you don't celebrate birthdays why you don't celebrate the holidays why you why, why are you making your woman why does why you got they say to women why you got why you wear a dress all the time why you don't wear no pants you know you know they say stuff like you know why you why you won't cut your beard off your face why you don't you know why you uh, 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 don't shave your hair your hair all off these are all laws that was given to Israel Okay? So these are the laws that we follow and they think it's strange that we don't follow in the ways and the excess of wine and, the, and all the revelings and all the idolatries that Babylon falls in, follows in. They think it's strange. 
let's read that again wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you who shall give account up to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead it says for for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead that they might be judged according to men in the flesh but live according to Yahweh in the spirit that's right man that's right so and these things should be uh Uh, should be understood man these things should be easily understood well, let's got let's get that and I'm gonna finish it off without these things should be easily understood this is uh Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 9 it says they are plain in the start at verse 8 it says all the words of my mouth are righteousness there is none nothing fraud or perverse in them yet people think it's strange that we carry on in righteousness we carry on reading the things of the bible things of the scriptures okay we carry on reading the things of the scriptures things of the bible and turning our people to righteousness turning to the real truth which is the laws okay we're following in the ways that the lord said we will be wise in the na in the eyes of the people of the nations right not so that they can lift us up and worship us, but so that they can, they got to try a little bit harder to get us to come, you know, they got to try hard. The only thing they have to do is just murder us. It's like, man, these people too wise. They see everything that we're doing. We just got to kill these Israelites. That's, that's the, that's what we make them come to that very conclusion because we're going to follow the law of statutes and commandments. We teaching our people to do so, right? And it should be plain, like the scripture says, right? And there's nothing perverse in the things that we are saying and doing, man. We're speaking righteousness and doing and working righteousness, right? Ideally, we all are, you know? And it says they are plain, so like, let's go. There is nothing fraud or perverse in them. So there's nothing fraud and perverse in our words. And those that hear the word of the Most High, you know what? They're going to follow what we're saying. It says they are plain to him that understandeth and write to them that findeth knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold, man. This is the things that you're supposed to receive the instruction that the Most High is given. If you are of the Most High God, you know. So with that, I want to go ahead and say uh, uh, Shalom, Israel.